Puente de la Niebla. Ahí es nuestro próximo destino. Así que vamos allá y vamos a ir a ese puente de la niebla utilizando el tranvía. Vamos para allá. No, esto es un kiosco, tengo que ir más para acá. Aquí. No sé dónde es. Vale, será Back to the Never, la vieja casa de Adana. Puede ser, eh. Vamos a ver. Bueno, ahí nos vamos en el tranvía. Esta vez vamos al lado de la ventana, en vez de la izquierda, de la derecha. Y no tenemos a nadie en el tren, por lo que parece. Esta vez no hay gente. Eso sí, el robot siempre es el que conduce. Ah, bueno, sí, tenemos a dos personas esta vez, en vez de 3, 4 o 5, tenemos a dos. Bueno. Vamos a ver qué, qué es lo que ocurre. I say, this is a very unpleasant way of traveling, Kate Walker. I know, Oscar. I promise I'll let you out as soon as possible. Okay? Okay, Oscar. Now we have to find Dana's old house. Do you recall the number, Kate Walker? According to her registration form from the Music Academy, it was number 20. Mm. 
El número 20. <coughs> Vamos para allá. The bridge is exactly the same as it was back in the 1930s. Except that it's cleaner. It looks almost new, as if it had been renovated. Que el número 13. 15, más para adelante. Eh. Ahí, a ver, esperar, usa. Una mina. I doubt I can be of any assistance here. That doesn't work. What? Recuerdo barato. One thing's for sure, this souvenir wasn't made in Wagen. Whoa! That's one shrill version of the hymn of Wagen. Para, para. Para que... La versión es Pritte. <laughs> Del Wagen. <laughs> Qué buena. A ver qué número es este. 18. Más para adelante. ¿Y aquí qué hay? Bueno, mira. Introspección. Ay, qué bonito se ve desde ahí. Hay mucha agüita. Los fines volando. So this is where Dana grew up. I wonder if she'd recognize the town of her childhood today. I think she would. That is if she's still alive. The musical square looks like it's turned into a tourist trap. Whereas in the bridge district, it seems like time stood still. It's quite eerie, really. Like if the neighborhood were artificially frozen in time. Like the residents on the bridge are pretty mad at the town council. Llamamiento a todos residentes y mineristas de Vague. Amar vuestro puente de la niebla por dentro y por fuera. Desde el bajo firmante comité de, bien, de bien bienestar del puente de niebla por la presente protestamos contra la política del ayuntamiento para convertir Vague en una ciudad museo. ¿Cómo lo están llevando a cabo? Concediendo, financiando públicamente, o sea, su pública solamente para reformar exteriores como el objetivo de atraer el mayor número posible de caderas de bajo coste. Esta po política injusta va en detrimento de los propietarios del pequeño comercio y los artesanos del distrito Puente de la Niebla. ¿Por qué deberíamos preocuparnos? Porque los propietarios del distrito del Puente que están teniendo que vivir y trabajar en condiciones insalubres, a pesar de las repetidas peticiones que hicieron al ayuntamiento para crear un programa de financiación por más justo que cubra las reformas interiores, si permitimos que el ayuntamiento continúe con su política, La política injusta, pronto no, no quedará ningún residente del distrito del puente. Solo quedarán fachadas bonitas, cascarones vacíos y, y tiendas de recuerdos baratas. ¿Qué se puede hacer al respecto? Conservar nuestro espíritu de comunitario del pequeño comercio que vende una auténtica artesanía de vaca. Le solicitamos al ayuntamiento que, que cree urgentemente un programa de financiación para las reformas interiores que prioriza a, a los vaines. Cabe destacar que la única financiación para la reforma interior del distrito del puente data justo después de la Segunda Guerra Mundial. Se llevó a cabo de la forma apresurada tras la destrucción del parcial del puente durante la liberación de Bagger. Hoy, la inmensa mayoría de las propiedades del puente no son habitables. 
Uno de nuestro grupo de prestación de financiación para reformar interiores y edificios históricos de puentes. Concentración de ayuntamiento el lunes 21 de noviembre a los 10. Debemos proteger la comunidad y salvar la vida de nuestra hermosa ciudad. El Comité de Bienestar de Residentes y Mineristas del Puente de Daniela, Rita Spai, Rueda Arcega, Angela Gile, Presidenta, Hans Rudolf Thomas, Francis Stoecklin, Ulrich Hoffman, Ana Dusbach. Y para sentir más información, escribirnos a infodeniela.niela.org o llamar al teléfono de Ángela y el número ta, ta, ta. O sea que están intentando, pues, bueno, están como queriéndose re representar contra la gesta de estado barata porque quiere, quieren llegar a costes baratos y, 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 y le están cobrando caro o algo así. Y se quieren estar como una, manif una manifestación, vaya. There's Souvenirs here look more upmarket than the ones I've seen elsewhere. Quiero ver más. Se puede bajar por aquí. Voy a investigar un poquito, no solamente ir para allá. In loving memory of all those who lost their lives that terrible night. Some of the names are covered up with dirt. How could I clean it? No tengo trapo ninguno. Some of the names are covered up with dirt. How could I clean it? Aviso de tormenta. Todos los habitantes de Wagen se espera que una fuerte tormenta afecte la ciudad a partir de esta tarde. A lo largo de toda la noche, la municipalidad recomienda a todo el mundo permanecer en sus hogares con las personas totalmente bajadas, así como cancelar por, o poner cualquier plan de exterior. Toda actividad de cultura al aire, al aire libre, sobre todo los que se celebren en el nombre de las montañas circunstantes, queda prohibido del decreto municipal de 24 horas prorrogable. El ayuntamiento de Vaca en de, de ocio y cultura. Protests in the neighborhood and a big storm coming tonight. I sure wouldn't want to be in the mayor's shoes right now. Anyway, I'd better focus back on Dana. Guten Tag, Fräulein. Made in Wagen. <laughs> All our gifts are handmade by craftsmen in Wagen. More gifts. I would have preferred it to still be full of paintings, I think.
Parece que ya ni más por donde mira. Así que vamos a hablar con la mujer. On holiday in the region, Fraulein. Just passing through. Well, welcome to my little gift shop. Frau Heigel at your service. I noticed you were looking at a souvenir, Fraulein. Yes, you have a wonderful choice here, Frau Heigel. Your shop is beautiful. Thank you. All our souvenirs here are pieces of craftsmanship, as we like to say. All by local craftsmen. Do you wish to buy the souvenir, Fraulein? Well, I'm actually looking for someone, not something. Someone who used to live in this house, and I was wondering if you could help. Well, there were quite a few owners before I bought the shop last autumn, so I can't really... So her name was Dana Rose. She lived here before the war. I was hoping to find some kind of trace of her here, so I could continue my search. I see. Well, I have heard of the roses, but I can't say if there's anything left of them inside the house. But don't you live here? No. My husband and I live in the suburbs. You see, the bridge was sacked just before the war, during the pogrom against the Vagrans. Oh, truly awful events. And then the neighborhood was bombed, just after the war, during the liberation. And many of the houses were damaged, including this one. They were hastily renovated after the war, but they remain mostly derelict. You mentioned a pogrom against this neighborhood's vagrant community. Can you tell me more? As much as anyone who knows anything about Vargen, I guess. It happened in 1938, if I recall correctly. A few months after Austria and Ostertal were annexed by the Brown Shadow. What happened? Well, the Brown Shadow organized riots against Vagarans on false pretexts. It led to pogroms throughout all the annexed countries, including this house. Were the Roses home when it all happened? Like I said, Fraulein, I don't know, but I hope not. Well, it doesn't look like the house was damaged from what I can see. Your shop is charming and so is the rest of the district. Thank you. That's because after the initial renovation, the council financed major rehabilitation work on the facades. But if the truth be told, they left the proprietors to foot the bill for our interiors. That's why my husband and I had to spend all our savings so that the shop interior shows the same high standard that we demand of our suppliers. That's a shame. Yes. And if the council persists in refusing to help fund the renovation works, there won't be any residents left on the bridge, let alone independent quality stores like mine. There'll be nothing left but bland franchise stores, like the one further along the bridge or on the musical square. So between the pogrom, the bombing, and the whole house being renovated, there's little chance of me finding any trace of the roses. It's not quite like that. To be honest, we didn't have the funds to renovate the rest of the house. So we used the upper floors for storing. Really? And now that you mention it, I do recall coming across old photographs from before the war, here and there in the house. The successive owners didn't want to throw them out, and I suppose they must have left them there. Would you mind if I went upstairs to take a look? Unless you would kindly bring the photos down yourself. Well, I can hardly leave the shop unattended while I go... I don't even know you, Fräulein. I see. In that case, would you mind if I had a look upstairs myself? Don't take it personally, Fräulein. But I don't know you enough to trust you. I'm very sorry. Now, if you'll excuse me, Fräulein, I have a customer. I conjecture that you were inefficient in trying to persuade the shopkeeper, Kate Walker. How are you going to access the upper floors now? I don't know, Oscar. 
By getting creative, I guess. I conclude I can trust you on that score, Kate Walker. El piso de arriba, si yo no he visto el piso de arriba. Espera. No, I don't think so. It won't work. No. Wrong one. <laughs> What's that awful noise? Excuse me, sir. Oh, there it is. How awful. <coughs> that certainly doesn't belong in my shop. We don't sell such cheap and tacky items. No me aburre. ¡Ah! Anda, burlao. <risa> Great. I don't think Frau Heigl's noticed a thing. Why don't you try to locate Dana Rose's room, Kate Walker? Then you can look for more clues about her. Good idea. Let's just hope Frau Heigl won't come up. This photo shows the house partially destroyed. Must have been taken after the bombing that preceded the liberation of Wagen. No, 1945. Una puerta tras la otra tienda, ¿hola? This is where Frau Heigl must take her breaks. In remembrance of the eternal bond between the roses and the Zimmers. Sign Adam Z. dark in here. Hardly surprising with those windows boarded up. More stock for the shop. It's dark in here. Hardly surprising with those windows boarded up. por ahí Espérate. subo más para arriba vamos a entrar aquí a ver bien esto ha hecho una mierda esto nothing of interest in here A 
double bed, plenty of space. It must have been Dana's parents' bedroom. So where is Dana's room then? The number of rooms don't add up. Just what I needed. Está debajo. ¿Anda? ¿Me se subió? Just what I needed. ¿Qué es esa, tío? Pero cómo la cojo. A family portrait. That must be Dana with her parents. que no se puede pasar, que tengo que dar la vuelta por aquí. Antes de bajar aquí no subí más para arriba. Yo no se puede subir más. It's been bricked up. Most likely during the post-war renovation works Frau Heigl spoke of. Bueno, pues tengo que bajar dos plantas. Esta y la siguiente. Y encontrar esa foto. Ah, huh. The bedroom in the background of the portrait must be located in the attic. According to the light and the clock behind Dana, her room must face north. That's it, Oscar. I think I know where Dana's room is. Enlighten me, Kate Walker. Well, one of the photos shows a bedroom that's not on the second floor, right? And we know that the staircase was bricked up during the renovation and led to another floor. So that's got to be where we'll find Dana's missing bedroom. It seems plausible, indeed. It does. And if we're lucky, the room might be pretty much like Dana left it all those years ago, and potentially with clues to put us back on her track. I've just got to find a way to get to that third floor bedroom. Seeing as you failed to create a positive bond with Frau Hegel, the next rational step would be to take a look outside the building, Kate Walker. You're right, Oscar. Let's go and see. Echar un vistazo fuera del edificio. It's dark in here. Hardly surprising with those windows boarded up. More stock for the shop. Tenemos que echar un vistazo de fuera del edificio porque dice que no. Que no 
podemos subir más para arriba. Vamos, de hecho, le voy a intentar una segunda vez, pero no creo. Se queda pillado ahí. Dice que está tapiado, no sé qué rollo. It's been bricked up, most likely during the post-war renovation works Frau Heigl spoke of. It's been bricked up. Most likely during the post-war renovation works Frau Heigl spoke of. Es como una pared sólida y está justo arriba en la. La escalera que va entonces, por aquí no se puede ir, ¿no? Este es algo. Perfecto. Creo que no se ha enterado, me parece. Y si abro otra vez con la tía, ¿qué es lo que me puede decir? Manda... I'm sorry I couldn't help you, Fraulein. Vamos a ir a la tienda. 